Well, this is the deepwater Lophelia coral, and it's very fragile. I mean, it's just like porcelain, but it's made of limestone. And this is the skeleton of Lophelia. And you see these, these like flower-like cups all along the side, and that's where the living coral resides, essentially like little sea anemones that live in each of those cups. And the sea anemone has polyps and they use the tentacles to grab plankton out of the water column. And one thing that all deep water coral have in common is that they're pure white and they lack algae, which is found in shallow water coral. So they have to rely on grabbing food out of the water column to survive. This is another type of deep water coral. This is called Oculina varicosa. And the common name is the ivory tree coral. Now it's kind of similar to the Lophelia that it has these thin branches. And this piece has been broken up a lot. Usually when it's alive, the branches are much longer, like the Lophelia. And it also has relatively large polyps for capturing plankton. A lot of shallow water corals have very small polyps because they have the algae within them. But this particular coral head I used in an experiment, and that's why it has these tie wraps on it, and it's kind of pinkish a little bit, is I used it in a, uh, a study to look at the growth rate to uh, try to find out how fast these deep water corals grew. And so using lockout diving, I dove out of the uh, Johnson Sea Link submersible actually in July of 1979. And so this was an experiment that I did what, 30 years ago. 